All right, so here we go. We are Zero Ground FPV. I'm Chef PV. We have something that's not necessarily the typical thing on our bench. Um, it's not one of our mini quads, um, though it is a interesting little mini quad. Um, this one is from DJI. This is a DJI Spark, and I have a Fly More kit here. Um, this is a real interesting quad or a drone in the market. Um, I have a few qualms about what it actually is representing and the way it's being marketed at times. But that being said, the fact that we have something like this is just pretty dang cool. Um, and I think that a lot of people can get a lot of cool uses out of it. Uh, I'll put it to the test. You know me. I love to mix the mediums. Um, the DJI Mavic that I have is by far my favorite drone I've ever owned um, because of its portability and its use factor. DJI just knocked it out of the park as far as its form factor, um, the way it's able to be utilized, and how easy you can use it. And that's why I say use factor um, is my Phantoms and my 3DR Solos and all the bigger drones that need cases and backpacks and all that. I have backpacks and I carry a bunch of other mini quads and stuff in it. And so for what I do, I need something that's just as quickly and easily like on the go, grab it, get out there. And like the Phantom was for um, all the DIY copters and all the previous other generation um, drones before it, the Phantom kind of too really made um, setting up and getting flying quicker and easier. And then the 4 is now even quicker than the 2 and the 3 was to get set up and going. And so the Mavic is right now, hands down, like, just unfold the arms. If you keep a battery in it, power it on, throw it on the ground, pull the gimbal lock out and power it up and you're good. Um, so this is a whole new level of that, right? Like this doesn't even fold up. And so there's some drawbacks. It's not as powerful as a Mavic. Like a Mavic is not as powerful as a Phantom. Um, so before we even get to opening it and all that, I just want to make sure that people understand this is a very specific flat platform. Um, it is a selfie drone is kind of what people are considering this market. Um, I like to think of it more of a flying action camera now than ever before. You know, action cameras are never meant to be 100% perfect and stabilized and all that. You want that kind of action-y movement, right? And then you can stabilize it out if you want. I see this as a tool much like that is making it smaller, easier to fly, to do different things with, to get them in tighter spaces and get new perspectives and, yes, possibly some FPV style perspective, um, but just the portability factor and all of, again, the use factor. I'm going to coin that as that's my new thing with drone technologies and drone, um, you know, models is what is the use factor. So um, that's what we'll do. So here we go. Um, let's get this thing opened up. It has stickers, void if damaged. So once I do this, it, they know it's been opened. And we will see side so I'm sure plenty of people have already seen this there's the sand disk the free gift 32 gig or 16 gig uh, SD card and we will drop that thing on the table and so is this the actual yeah fly more combos all in there all right packing slip so that's what we got in the box is the box the DJI spark fly more sand disk ultra there's all that we will go ahead and take a quick a quick picture, I guess, of this. Just for the Instagram teaser. All right. So, here we go. So we got the SD card that comes with it, and which is funny that they did that this time because DJI always includes one with the drone typically. So it was interesting that this time they were like, eh, get it free. Product requires you agree to DJI UAS terms of use. Interesting, okay. Register with the FAA. Eh, technically not true, but okay. Uh, it's going to apply more Alpine white. By the way, I did get the white. Um, yeah, so there we are. All right. 
so we've got that done, and now we will break the seal there and the cute little spark seal there. Let's let's take a picture of that little seal. So we will break the seal here, a little spark seal, nice, cute, and that should allow us to open it up. All right, so we did again get the fly more, which I did not do the fly more on the Mavic, and I don't really recommend it. Um, I only got it on the spark because it, it, it made sense, really. Um, the fly more on the spark actually has some usable stuff for what it is. As opposed to, um, I believe, you know, I don't think the Mavic, you needed all the stuff unless that was just what you really wanted. All right, so there's the box and what comes in it. So you got your bag. And then here, I believe, is the actual drone. I could be wrong. Wow, if that's it. That's interestingly small. Wow, they got a decent sized manual in here. I'm trying to see what this is. Wow. They included a plethora it's like all of a sudden we've gone back to the 90s and we're all they're making sure you know hey, you know you don't know where the manual is well guess what there it is jeez that is uh quite the box of literature let's see i mean look at that that is we gotta get a quick shot of that because that is um ironic i guess all right, wow, I mean, it is color-coded too. Look at that, that's interesting. Disclaimer and safety guide, that's the thick one. The thick one is the disclaimer guide. Wow, um, quick start guide is no longer a pamphlet. It is a full-on 40-page book, remote controller. <laughs> Wow, Bill, you are going to love this. Dude, look at that. The remote has a 52-page one. Battery charging hub alone, 55 pages. Propeller guards. The prop guards themselves have a 40-page manual on just prop guards. How awesome is that? DJI keep or refresh keep flying. So we do actually have the DJI refresh. Um, yeah, we got that. So and then the fly more combo has a quick little its own little guide apparently of what comes in it. The intelligent flight battery itself um, also has a 55 page manual. And then the kicker, the big one, again, the safety guidelines. I mean, dang, dude, is that a part 107 Bible or what? That would be awesome. Um, this is no doubt Brendan Schulman's charm right here um, shining through in a 227-page or so disclaimer guide. How has that not hit the lounge yet? Come on, guys. Come on. All right. Let's get to what we're really trying to do. We tried to do this live. We weren't able to. So here is the official, official unboxing. Let's set the bag aside because I'm going to assume this has the drone in it. So let's get into what's inside. Oh, there's the DJI logo. It's top. All right. Which is interesting. This is a good foam kit. I mean, this is one of, they're known for kind of giving you a kit that'll hold it. Wow. Dude, that thing is so much tinier than I thought. Completely. Like, I fully thought that it was going to be the size. Like, at least the body was going to be that size. Oh, my God. Dude, this thing is tiny, dude. That is clear shock right there. Like, I just had not actually seen one yet. And I also thought this was going to be more shiny. You can't tell. It's uh, kind of broken up, dimpled plastic, which is fine. I don't care. I just, I thought it was going to be a lot flatter plastic. Wow. This thing is quite interesting. And so you've got your little gimbal there, right? All right. Oh, man, dude, this thing is so tiny. Okay. Wow. 
I, I really am in shock just right now, just because I was not expecting it to be that that tight. <laughs> All right, so one battery, two battery. Um, I think that's the Flymore special, right? Um, and then what's this? So we've got spare props. Wow, look at these tiny little spare props. Um, and then we've got spare props. Okay, so we've got a couple of spare props all over. Um, so one of each package. Um, wait, it looks like, yeah, there's one of, there's two of each in each package. Two, two of each type, sorry. All right, still so, oh my God, charge battery, the battery for the first time to activate it. Okay, so it wants me to charge the battery for the first time to activate it. So we'll take these out and get them out. It looks like you pull, just pull on the battery and that that's the quick release lever built into the battery. That's interesting, right? So like the quick release levers are built in. All right. Wow, dude, that thing is tiny. The little cameras, the optical flow sensors, Wow, that thing is pretty legit, dude. Um, and by the way, I was thinking that it was gonna be this size, kind of, look, look how small it is compared to my, whatever it is, mini quad, uh, it's about a 230, 220, 230. Wow. I really did not expect it to be that small. All right, um, so there's that. Um, batteries, batteries, and they've got built-in landing skids to the battery. If you can see that's interesting, the landing skid. This is really a pretty smartly designed little bugger, man. I really, dude, I did not expect it to be that tiny either. Okay, uh, so we'll set that aside a little bit because we gotta get to the charger to charge it. So let's see, the bag has a front. Bag's not bad either, by the way. Uh, front little pouch, and it's got in there, uh, ah, there's your charger station and a charger cable. So these will actually just go, you put them right there, it looks like, halfway where they're almost engaged, and then you press them in, all right, and so that's that. The bag's not bad, I mean, it's an interesting little shape, it's got the DJI logo, it's got some tough bottom on the bottom for grip and for long lasting durability it looks like the material looks pretty solid uh take the foam out there and here's the prop guards here is the block okay so the same type of charger adapter that you have for your um uh mavic then the radio is over here it's got a little bit of a foam protector that goes over it and it just slides right in there. And the bag looks kind of reconfigurable-ish, but not really, I don't know. Um, and so I guess the drone is really, I don't know, I'm confused. I guess you're supposed to keep, I don't know, is this meant to put the drone in? I mean, I guess it would fit, but I don't know that I want to keep it in there. I don't know how I like this bag all of a sudden. It doesn't seem, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it all does fit. But to me, it doesn't seem like I can carry the full brick and the drone in the case. I mean, I, I again, I could be wrong. I'm about to go through this and we'll post up a full video later on kind of how the uh, whole experience worked out. But for now, getting everything out. So there's your radio. Um, so we'll take all this. We'll set the bag aside again. There's the bag. It's nice, man. It's not a bad bag. Um, to show you though, comparatively, here is my DJI Mavic case. And so it's about the same size. It's not too much smaller as my Mavic case. And again, I'm not sure if this will carry everything. Um, so we'll see, set that aside. So back to this we will get this thing started up and updated in a little while but i just wanted to take a look at the radio again we got to power all this stuff up and get it charged much like the mavic um, except the funny thing is is it does not have the actual physical connector cable so the one thing i thought was that this was like the mavic in that you connected the radio physically to the the radio i mean the 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 phone but it looks like that 
the radio will function separately and the phone will still stay on its own Wi-Fi. Um, I'm not sure if that's true, but that's just interesting, I suppose. Um, so there's no powers out just to only a, a, a USB mini in to be able to um, charge it. And it is actually noticeably heavier than the uh, Mavic radio. So again, kind of interesting. I'd like to know the story behind it. The antennas seem bigger too, I believe. Um, gimbal wheel is still there kind of it's not again not the exact same radio so um it, you're missing some buttons you know you're missing the c buttons you don't have the c buttons down below and all that um, function sport mode pause i mean home basic functionality of the radio is there though and i got the radio because i just don't like the idea of not having a radio <laughs> i want one um, so that's that so it looks like what we do here is we're going to plug. It looks like the best thing to do is going to be to probably charge this thing off the power brick, right? So I'm going to charge um, one battery off the brick. And similar to the, it looks like it's similar to the, um, wait, how do I plug this in? Huh. Oh, okay, so it plugs into here. All right. All right, so we plug that in there. You can charge three packs at once. I was thinking you could at least just charge one with that, and I thought you could charge this with a five. I thought, I don't know, I was just confused. <laughs> All right, so. There we go. Charge, start plugging it in. They are plugged in. All right. Press once, then press again and hold for two seconds is for the power on, but right now it's charging. So there we go. So we've got these bad boys charging. We will now plug this in with its USB cable to the power pack and we'll let it charge too. Looks like those things aren't charged very much at all. You know, my Mavic came with about 80% power, I believe, or 70% power in the packs. Didn't take long at all to charge them up. Um, we will take this sticker off and double check what it reads. It just tells you how to power on and to charge the battery. Cool. So we'll take that and just leave that there. So again, here it is. This thing is tiny, bro. Oh my gosh. It really is. This is very, very interesting. Um, I, I just really think that this is going to be a segment that takes off um, with DJI. I think that we're going to see some in-between models from this to the next one um, between it and the Mavic. I wouldn't be surprised to see a slightly larger version of this. Um, durability wise these arms I mean they feel pretty solid I mean I've heard of people saying that they've banged them around um, we'll see the motors I don't know what size those are but those look almost like 1407 motors I'd have to double check the actual data I'm sure it's out there so we'll pull the plastic off the sensor you definitely don't want to leave the plastic on the sensor when you first get these things going and the camera will take it off obviously and that's it. I mean, that's the unboxing. There's your DJI Spark Flymore. Um, again, I'm not sure how all of that fits into the uh, case. I am a little concerned that they didn't make any kind of cover. That's the only other weird thing is they didn't make any kind of cover at all for that. And so... I almost feel like that the, the box is just going to be the best way because it looks like it takes into account and rotates the camera into position, or at least, no, it doesn't even take into account the camera either. It doesn't care. I mean, but it's fine in there. I almost think that's the safest and best thing to do is just to do that, put your two batteries there, and then does this maybe drop into, maybe that, no? No, see, that won't even drop in. You would think that they would have made this to just drop into this, right? Like, why would they not have made a bag just slightly larger that you could actually fit 
this into? Like, I, I just don't understand. Okay, I'll have to double check, but mine's going to stay in here. I actually am disappointed now with the fly more because, I mean, in reality, all I really needed was the radio, but you're, that's what you're paying for in the fly more is the radio, really, right? I mean, it's 150 bucks, and then you figure all the rest. So, I don't know. Interesting, but DJI, again, you missed with the bag. It's one thing you're always missing with. Oh, and the prop guards. I forgot about those. We could put these on real quick and just see. This is where the thing gets a little larger as you uh, add the parts on. And so prop guards are great, and I hear they work very well. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily be rocking them. Um, we will see. I'm much more interested in the small format and all of that. But I suppose it's not a bad idea to toss these things on and see how they work. So, all right. Um, looks like open up these. It looks like they just clip in, like set in the arm. And you rotate. Wait. Oh, I bet you this one goes on the back. Hold on. Yeah, this one probably, no. Hold on. It doesn't go there, then it goes here. Huh. Let's see. How does it go on the arm? Yeah, you rotate it. Okay, there you go. I just didn't want to rotate it too hard. And then it just goes right on. Interesting. And it does. It looks like pretty much any... Yeah, you can put one on any side. They're not side dependent, at least not that I see so far. Oh, wait. Yes, they are, Troy. <laughs> so the white goes on the white. Ugh, that's why this one was a little more difficult to get on. The white goes on the white um, prop. That's, that's the deal. There you go. Yep. It's a little easier to get on that way. Almost screwed up. All right, so there's your prop guards. This definitely makes it a little bit larger of a machine. <laughs> but hey, you know, prop guards to keep safe, especially if you are going to fly it inside. I personally, I'm sorry. I don't condone. I mean, it's not a lot of situations that a, that a drone needs to be inside. If you're inside, typically you can do something else. Um, but there's that. There's the uh, prop guards on. I don't make, make it really weigh very much more or anything. Um, so interesting. It definitely gives it a much more larger format feel. <laughs> um, they probably aren't a bad idea to, you know, if you're a new flyer to throw these on, especially even outdoors, not just inside. Um, now that I look at them, they definitely could function as some really good bumpers if something were to happen. Um, so maybe it's a good idea to go ahead and, uh, throw them on there anyway. So there's that. Um, Prop guards, though, they don't fit in the case, so I don't know what you would really do with them um, outside the case. So that's the other thing. And you just unlatch them and turn them, and they fall right off. There you go. So again, we can put that real quick in there, and it's good to go. Don't know where you'd put the prop guards you just have to carry those separate just a lot of stuff to carry that for such a little quad that again i just i'm not really feeling this whole fly more bundle i mean it's like at least even makes i mean they could have just made a back sleeve right like why did they not make a sleeve for the fly more bundle to fit in like i just don't i don't know like even a, a rubber band like a a, a strap just sort of a bungee strap kind of around the back would have been good it just seems odd. <laughs> um, so that's that. Hope you enjoy. Uh, we got a little spark in our life. We'll see how this goes. Fly safe, fly smart. Hey, fly spark. <laughs> Peace.